It's a king's house who calls in often, who is always, 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 as, as, I think as long as I have been reading the prayer request, has suffered from depression and some other issues. And I think a lot of times we just, we just succumb, that we just give in. This is a part of my life now. now I'm not belittling depression because depression, that's, that's a whole doorway with, I'm not a doctor and I don't profess to know beyond I only know in the spiritual what it does, how it darkens the spirit, it darkens the, the ability to see. It takes away your joy, it takes away your, 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 just your desire to get up and even want to read or listen to the teaching. It robs you of everything. Well, start with, I'm not saying this is just straight from Satan, but start there. It's a good place to start. Because, you know, once you've, re you've rebuked him, there's just very few other choices afterwards, few, fewer paths to go down. If it is only, I'm not going to let you take my joy today. You are not having today, Satan. Or maybe today is too big. Start with this morning or this hour or right at this moment. This is a page out of what Dr. Scott used to say. Remember, he used to say, if you can't stand up, sit up. And if you can't sit up, nod your head. And if you can't nod your head, same thing, same principle. Start somewhere by recognizing. Start somewhere by recognizing that there is a battle. And I come back to the same statement I made earlier about the scriptures. Put the brakes on. Recognizing it as quickly as you can is part of it. You, you keep going and you don't recognize what's going on or you refuse to recognize what's going on. You're going to be there and for some time. Now, I, when we went to music, I opened my Bible to 1 Peter 5. And you know this so well, but let's read this. 1 Peter 5, verse 7 and 8, casting all your cares, your care, your anxiety, upon him, for he careth for you. I'd like to ask the question, did you do that today? Did you do it today? When the panic gripped you and when the anxiety came and when the depression came and when the burdens came and when the new troubles came and when the bad news came. Did you do this? Casting all your care upon him for he careth for you. Did you do it? Be sober, be, be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So maybe you're just fast food for the devil. Or maybe you want to say, not so fast, devil. That may be a better way to go. When one person hurts, the whole body hurts. So Lord, heal this body completely. Not, I'm not speaking of mine. I speak of the church. Heal this body. And for those of you who have not yet done it, rebuke Satan in Jesus' name. Get on the telephone. Come to this house.